have the Stell Latitude E6420 laptop that was in the previous video. And now I'm just in the mood to transfer some files over to the computer from my uh, USB 3.0 hard drive. It's a Western Digital Elements. All right, we're gonna plug it it in. There we go. Ugh. All right, the drive already pulled up. That's awesome. Let's see. I don't know. Let's take this uh, NVIDIA driver. See how long this takes to transfer. Wow. You get that? Only 30 m megabytes a second. Oh my god. I mean, luckily this is only 600 megabytes. Imagine if it was several gigabytes or more. But luckily, we don't have to worry about that. Let me just delete this file. Luckily, we don't have to worry about that because we got one of these. A USB 3.0 Express card. Now, I know what you're saying. Depending on your laptop, how do you know this is compatible with your laptop? Well, you can go online. I already have the tab up. Dell Latitude E6420 specs and on connections and expansion one express card 54 port. Now if you only had a PC card port it wouldn't be compatible. Well it, if you had a laptop that only had PC card well then it's probably at least 15 years old already and about time to upgrade. You know so you know if you're if you need USB 3.0 on a laptop that's even older than, you know, something from the late 2000s, early 2010s, something older than this, well, then you're out of luck. But we're not out of luck. In fact, the port is right here. Let me just eject it. See that? It's ejecting. Now, this came with a driver CD. Which would be useful, like if you were still running it on Windows 7 or something. Don't suggest that. From a security standpoint, having a Windows 7 computer connected to the internet is not smart. Okay, let's see here. But now let's connect the hard drive to this new port right here. Okay. The only problem you have to be careful of is when you take this card out is that you don't pull the card out with it too. But if you do, you just push it back in. That's the only nuisance that this thing has. Now let's see how fast this driver file would transfer. Wow, 114, 100, 109 megabytes a second? Or, yeah. That's triple the speed and this is still a spinning hard drive if we were to connect an ssd to this usb port we could theoretically get 10 times the performance of connecting this hard drive to a usb 2.0 port with this drive you could go all the way up to 300 400 megabytes a second i mean and in this day and age, when you're constantly taking your laptops on the go, and you just need something where you can quickly transfer a file, safely unplug the equipment, and just put your laptop in your bag, well, this is $20 well spent. It even, I don't know where it was set, but it even came with a power cord. So if you are ever in a situation where you had a high-powered device, but it couldn't be powered by the card itself. You could connect the one, the one end of the cord to the USB 2.0 port. You'd lose the USB 2.0 port, USB 2, and, you know, DC on the other end. In fact, it's this, this port right here. 
next to the USB, but you would be able to power high power devices. All right, this is the end of my video. Please subscribe.